Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's recovery mark video, we are going to be jailbreaking Jasper Xbox 360. We will solder, reprogram, read and write NAND memory, so you better stay till the end because it's gotta be something interesting. I attached all the files that I used in the description and also the full step by step instruction. But if your soldering skills suck, do not do anything from this video because there is a huge chance to break your Xbox. If you want to RGH your console, check the description. Leave me a comment if you have any problems. I would like to help you if I can. So today I'm gonna use two chips, CoolRunner and JR Programmer. If you have other chips, leave me a comment and I will attach instructions for you. So first, I disassembled my Xbox and started JR Programmer installation. Today our plan is to make the damp of NAND memory, get the CPU key from your Xbox by using CoolRunner and then replace the official firmware with the modified one. First, get your wires and motherboard ready and take your time. Yes, I know, I use a huge amount of flux every time, but I always make sure that I will solder all the connections. A few of my subscribers ask me, Mark, how to master my soldering? The answer is simple. First, I don't think that my soldering is perfect and it's just not bad. In my past, I had been working as a computer technician for 5 years, so I believe that practice makes perfect. Start from something simple. Don't push yourself, and every time when you solder, it will get better and better. I often watch one YouTube channel about fixing, so we can learn a lot from this guy. I will leave you the link in the description. Usually, when I finish soldering, I remove the flux from a motherboard. It's a good thing to do. Tofu is already sitting on the table and can't wait to start reading the firmware. To read data from the flash memory, you have to power your Xbox. Do not turn your Xbox while J programmer is connected to the motherboard or to the glitch chip. It might cause physical damage to your hardware. Install the drivers for JR programmer and connect it to your computer. Make sure that the program will read the firmware two times and then click read. In this window, you should manually select the size of your flash memory. Find the chip on your motherboard and Google the size of the chip. Save the original dump of NAND memory on your hard drive. After you get two dumps, make sure that they are the same. After, let's create Zell and write it into the NAND flash. Then, let's install CoolRunner. Enjoy the music. Connect JR Programmer to the cool runner and connect it to the power. And again, don't turn on your Xbox. I'm going to write firmware on the glitch chip. Remember that all Xboxes are unique. I chose this one to program the cool runner and it worked, but in your case it might be a different one, so try them one by one if this one doesn't work. Remove the JR Programmer.
try to boot your Xbox. If you have done everything right, you will see this blue screen. At the end, it will display the CPU key. That's what we need to complete RGH. Type the CPU key in this field, select original temp and click create image. After it's done, connect the power cable, don't turn on your Xbox and click write NAND. After you can remove GR programmer and assemble your Xbox. That's all, now your Xbox is RGH. All you need to do now is install FreeBSD or FreeBoot. If you want to know more about it, leave me a comment down below and I will make a video. Well, okay guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful for you and I will see you in the upcoming video. Bye.